Hey guys and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. As promised in my previous video, um, I'm going to try the Tour Clubs. As you can see, I'm going to choose Victory Village and we're going to play off the Blue Tees. I've picked Victory Village because the fairways are quite forgiven. Um, so, <laughs> I don't want to pick a course that's going to absolutely frustrate me. Um, so we've picked this Victory Village, which is a very enjoyable course, by the way. I have played it once before, and I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it a five-star rating. So I just want to say thank you, everyone who has hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. As I said in the previous video as well, my channel is daily um, gaining new subscribers, new friendly people at the channel who I can interact with. So I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, guys. So, let's see what the fuss is about these tour clubs. The wind's 10 mile per hour behind us, jeez. So as you can see, instantly straight away, 279 yard carry. That was wow, and we hit a perfect, perfect. My gameplay might be a bit more slower than delib and deliberate compared to the player clubs guys because you do really have to concentrate while using these tour clubs okay, we have about 130 yards, I'd say. so that's left us 130 yards which as you can see is a pitch and wedge in this Hopefully the gap wedge has got enough. Looking good. Oh, just, oh, we get a nice kick there. We get a nice kick. So, so far we're swinging well the first two shots. Long may it last. An eight foot putt for birdie. And we've drained it. So, we move to one under. Into the I think the, the last time I played this course, guys, was with the player clubs, and I think I shot about 70 under. So let's see how we can do with the tour clubs. So far, so good. Once again, we get a perfect, perfect, almost straight down the middle. And as you can see, guys, the fairways are fairly forgiven. Hence why we chose this course. Also, the fact it's enjoyable to play. So as you can see, we could easily hit this green in two. Just want to try and get it past that slope. The first part of the green. The wind is severely against us. Oh, and I've hit a fast perfect. That's going to be short and left. Like the yeah, there we go. It's going to leave us a little chip on, though, for, for our eagle. In the rough, but close to the green. Oh, that's an chip awful, awful fast. sloping green. These are the kind of shots I hate with a chip shot. Oh, that's a bloody... That was going to be a bloody fool shot there. Normal. Oh, and that is a lovely, delicate touch. As my wife says to me, I've got such a lovely, soft, hey, delicate touch for such a big man. <laughs> so that's us two under here, guys. At two under for the round. So we've got off to a fantastic yeah. start, but I'm not going to kid myself on, guys. With these tour clubs, it just takes one hole, one real bad tee shot, and you're absolutely, your rhyme's ruined. Hopefully I can stay focused. So 
So once again, we get a good clean swing on it. But wind's taking a slightly... Oh, and we've hit the flagstick. We're still trying to get this ace, guys. I'll let you in on a little secret, guys. I was playing my son last night. Um, we have played together on the live on the channel previously. It was the standard clubs versus the, the player clubs. My son, playing as early 1981 guest, got a hole in one last night. It was just it was lasered in from as soon as it left the, the club face, you knew it was going in. Um, I was hoping it would unlock the, the medal for me, but it didn't due to being a guest. So, um, even my son, nine-year-old son's got a hole in one. I haven't. I'm sure it will eventually come. That's just going to trickle off the fairway. But I'm not pr I'm not going to say I'm going to stick with the tour clubs, guys. I am going to persevere with them at the moment. It's far easier now that I have a, a controller with a, a working R3 analog stick. Let's see if we can get this pitch close. Coming out the rough, it's quite tough to judge. Once again, we put a good swing on it. Bite, bite. Ah, we've just maybe kicked on a little bit. That's going to be about an eight, nine foot putt. Nine foot putt. And apologies if it's a sign like I've got the cold, guys. It's a hay fever. Uh, my eyes and nose are just totally streaming us now. And there's another birdie. So wow, we are absolutely flying here. Four under, three four with the tour clubs. Yeah, let's give this ball a smash. And we move on hole five, which is also a par five. And we are swinging really, really well. Bounce left. Two hundred and fifty-eight yards. Let's just chase this three wood down there. And did you see the swing glitch there? How on earth did I get away with that? Wow. And this is gonna be short, way short. Wow, you hit that, that swing glitch there, Jesus. That could have went horribly wrong, thankfully it never. We did just slightly push it right. Game's kind of went glitchy for the moment, guys. I've left that way short. Way short, so we're going to struggle for a birdie now. Nah, it's just going to break away, so despite hitting the green in two, we're just going to walk away with a par. So that's going to keep us at four under for the round. And that'll keep you at four under for the round. Alright, let's let her rip. So we go with the fairy wood. Once again. Right, so far. Swinging it really, really well, guys. Really in the zone here. But as you can tell, guys, I, I am a lot more focused. You can hear I go quiet over the shot. I am taking my time more. You have to. You've got to be a lot, lot more deliberate and a lot more focused. So 84 yards left. This is a club for me. Maybe just push that left. Beauty. Yeah. Oh, we've caught a slope. 
We're still going to have a putt, putt for birdie. It's probably going to be about 15 to 18 feet. Right, 16 feet. Oh, and we just lip, lip the hole for our birdie. And that's going to be another solid par. So, so far, guys, we've not experienced any difficulty so far. This is about my sixth or seventh round playing with the tour clubs. I did play uh, the two Norths last um, online society event with the tour clubs. I think I've, for, the, for the four rounds, I finished two under. Which I was very happy with. But I did have a few holes up where I got seven and eight. Just due to the, the difficulty of the course. And obviously with the, the swing sensitivity in the, the tour clubs. Like I say guys, it's just one bad shot on this can completely ruin your round. And that's why I'm still... Still, even though I'm four under, still not convinced there's an advantage playing with the, the player clubs, uh, the tour clubs over the player clubs, other than bragging rights. That's all it is, I, I do feel. Oh, the winds took us more left. Has it got enough legs? So once again, we're going to have a birdie putt, but as you can see, the wind's really taking us round. This is a nasty breaking putt. Breaking aggressively to the right. Slightly to moderately disappointing. As you can see, that's kind of travelled on a, about nine feet. So this could be our first drop shot of the day. Oh, and we drill it home. We drill it home for the par. That is one thing I will say about playing with the tour clubs, guys. I do feel the pattern is more controlled with the tour clubs. I actually do prefer it. It could be in my head. It'd be interesting to hear from you guys who are subscribed to the channel and be watching this. Sorry, I just kind of really focus on this. Um what your thoughts are on the tour clubs compared to the player clubs and how you do find the pattern. I do find the pattern easier with the tour clubs. So once again we're in the middle of the fairways. This is kind of first for me guys. I've not played around where I keep hitting all the middle of the fairways with the tour, tour clubs. But like I say it can all change. Needs to bite. Ah, we went way, way long. Just managed to hold the hold the green, should I say? This for birdie. So we've got a thirty foot putt here for birdie. Break into the right. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, for one minute, I did think we were going to really travel there, so we put that five feet past. It did just hold up. So once again, guys, it's another solid par. We are playing solid golf here. We've not experienced any issues so far with the tour clubs. And we move on to hole nine, which is a beautiful par three, by the way. Just look at that. 184 yards. The wind is really behind us. Come down to seven iron. Hopefully the wind does the rest. Hopefully we can get a clean swing in it. We have maybe a bit to the left. I have pushed that to the left. And it's going to be... It's going to be about a 20 foot putt for our birdie. 
15 feet. I'm doing myself an injustice. Oh, it's good. Oh, wow. It's went five feet, six feet past. But as you see seen there, guys, were a tee shot there. It was, we just slightly pushed it to the left. I reckon on player clubs, it doesn't go as far left as that. But on the, the tour clubs, as we know. Oh, and there's our first drop shot of the day, guys. That's disappointing. Disappointing, six foot past. Pat. Um, so that's us. We drop back to three under. Um, yeah, for me on the player clubs, that doesn't go as far left as that. So let's see how. Yeah, Jesus, oh, I don't know why it gave us the the one iron there on the tee box. Now that was a swing. And we've absolutely nailed that straight down the middle. Hopefully, the one behind us. This is going to be way over three hundred yards. Three hundred and eight yards to be precise. So this is now going to be a short approach shot to the green. Fifteen or so yards of pin here, I'd say. Just got to jack this gap wedge up due to the, the wind being behind us. This is one part of the game, guys. I cannot get to grips with. For me, there's no consistency in it. Oh, and we've had very fast. And there you go. And this, we're going to do well to get out of here with a part. Needs to bite, needs to bite. Oh, and we have got a good chance to save par here. But as you can see, guys, anything other than perfect, and you are severely punished with tour clubs. Oh, and we went for it. We did play that with a bit of pace, and thankfully it dropped. So we stay at three under. But despite having a fairly decent round with the tour clubs, guys, I still think the player clubs are the way forward. I will persevere with the tour clubs for a while to see if I can master them. And we're just going to hit our three wood here. We've nailed that straight down the middle. And on hindsight, we could have easily hit the driver there. We could have easily hit the driver, but it doesn't matter. We've still got that 278 yards. Just loft this up ever so slightly. See if we can get this close to the pin. Looking good. Kick on, kick on. Now bite. Oh, and that is a fantastic golf shot. That, that is a fantastic golf shot. Well, it was splendid. It's not the easiest of putts. So we move back to four under. Sitting at four under for the round. Okay, it's time to send this ball on its way. Maybe a bit to the left. Are we going to, yeah, we're going to hold a fairway if it bounces right, which it should do. So this probably could go down if I finish at this score, guys. This will be classed as my bet, one my best round with a tour club so far. And I can only apologise about if I do sound like I'm choked up and. Got a snotty running nose, guys. This hay fever is killing me this year. Oh, 
we pushed up way left. And as you can see, we're in the bunker. Right, these are the shots I can get me with the tour clubs, the flops. It's so easy to fin it. We've actually played a really good shot if it checks up. Oh, and that's a great shot from a bunker. For me, the flop shot's the hardest shot to master with the tour clubs. Because anything other than perfect, perfect, and you're just blading the hell out of it. So we stay at five under, guys. Oh no, that was a birdie. Wow. That was a birdie. I beg your pardon, we moved to five under. That's the thing. Sometimes these par fours, par fives, feel like they're par fours with the tour clubs. Pins right in the middle of the green almost. Ah, we've had a perfect fast. It's going to go left. So as you can see, guys, the our swing's not perfect, perfect the last couple of holes. You've really got to concentrate. Run down that slope. Go on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And I'm delighted with that shot. <coughs> Excuse me. Left ourselves a five foot putt. And that was for par. And that'll keep you at five under for the round. Okay, let's give her a smash here. So it's a short par for this. Can we go over this? See with the driver. I do feel we can. I tell you what, guys, I'm swinging all right. Let's go for it. This could kill our round, but hey ho. Oh, we played a great shot. Are we going to be rewarded? No, we're not. That's going to go right through the green. Oh, get off. Get off. No way. I can't believe this has stayed on the green, guys. It's a 74 foot putt. So here's the tip, guys. Always change your club to see what the lie is at your feet with the putter. Wow, so I feel I've got no advantage now. This is just going to be awful. No, I've not hit that. Go off the green. Go on. Go off the green to the right. No, it's going to hold. So we're going to have a long putt for birdie. All right, 25 footer from here to the cup. Oh, no, stay high. Stay high. Oh, and I tell you what, guys. We have made a fucking pig's ear to this. This is for par. We were on the green and one on a par four. Oh, and we managed to just to drain it on the, the left-hand side. So there you go, guys. If ever the saying, um, driving for show, patting for dough, is never been a truer word said. Especially in that situation there. We've we done a fantastic drive onto green. With no reward. That ball was launched. And once again, we found the fairway. I don't know if I've actually missed a fairway yet, guys. I actually don't think I have missed a fairway, apart from the par threes. Let's 
Yeah, due to the strong wind against us, let's take a little bit off this. Hopefully we can get this wedge in here and get a birdie. Oh, we put a perfect slow, which to my experience doesn't really affect the shot. Maybe it put it right. Yeah, I think that must have pushed it slightly okay, right. So it's a 17 foot pat for birdie. Can we move to 6 under? No, we've not hit it. We've left ourselves a 2 3 pit foot pat for par. So we're still at 5 under, guys. We move on to 16th. All right, part three, let's go for the pin. I am pretty confident on this course that I would be 5 under easily with the player clubs. Not easily, but you know what I mean. I do feel I'd be at, at 5 under. Surely the wind's going to take us around. That's a quite a challenge in par 3, this actually, guys. Not with hit fast perfect. This one's looking dialed in. It's not really affected us, and you can stop any time you like, ball. So that's been quite a favourable outcome for us, there, guys. Okay, for the birdie. Turn, 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 oh, oh, just turn slightly, slightly too much, so that's going to be another par. So I am going to say guys, out about the, the five, six, seven rounds I have played with the tour clubs, um, this has been my most consistent round so far. I've always had a hole or two where I, I've got like seven or eight due to the, the drive not being down the fairway and severely left or right. But as you can see, I am playing a lot more slower, a, lo a lot more deliberate, I'm more focused in the shot. Yeah. I did think for a minute, no, we're not making it over that tree, but we have. And that is the main advantage of the tour clubs, guys, is is off the tee. Um, you can take on shots that you certainly couldn't take on with the standard clubs. And you probably couldn't have took that shot on with the, the, the tour clubs. Eh, uh, the player clubs. But the downside is, if your swing's not perfect, you're just going to be totally crucified. Oh, we've maybe pushed up to the left. Heading for the green here. Yeah, we have slightly to the left. And that's what I'm saying, guys. It's very minimal to the left there. It's still in the red apex, but yeah, the bird. I'm still convinced on player. That kind of stays straight. Any minor swing deficiency is highlighted in this. Very minimal break here. Do you feel we could birdie this? Turn, turn, turn. Oh! So that's going to be another par. Three feet to the hole here. So well, we move on to the final hole of the round, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you're new to the channel and you have, please give my uh, video a like and hit the subscribe button if it's something you would like to see more of. Oh, so this is going to be the only tester so far, really, I would say. It's quite a narrow fairway. Oh, no! The slows counteracted the push left, look. And if there was ever a time there where... We were very fortunate there, guys, like I was saying there. If there was any a time you wanted to hit a perfect slow, it was then. I pushed the ball left. But the slow brings it back round right, so we're very lucky. The golf and gods have certainly been on our shoulder there. So 
let's see if we can just get this ball rolling up towards the pin. And that's a great strike we've put in that. Come round. The wind's not taking us round, and I feel we're going to be long. Oh, we're going to be really long. Go off, go off. So once again, guys, we're going to find ourselves patting for eagle, but it's going to be a huge pat, 43 feet. If we can get us anywhere close and get our birdie, I'm delighted. Keep going, keep going. Ah, uh, still trickling up. So we're probably going to have about a nine foot pat for birdie. <clears throat> Eight foot putt for birdie, guys. Can we get it to finish our day for six under? We do. So there we go, guys. We move to six under. That's it for today. Six under on Victory Village with the Tour Clubs. That's a good achievement for me. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye.